Greetings, everyone. It's Dr. Cole Rasich hopping on again to go over and share two very practical applications on managing your pain and your anxiety while we're at home. Um, with what we deal with a lot of times in the clinic, pain is the number one reason our patients come in our doors. And with a lot of our clients switching to more of a at-home telehealth uh, style of physical therapy, managing pain effectively can be really challenging. So I just wanted to give you guys some hope and some actionable advice as to how to manage those symptoms while working on that social distancing and sheltering in place. And then again, how to manage that stress and anxiety, which is ever present in America in 2020, especially during these times. So hopefully you guys can take away a couple quick and easy ways to manage both pain and anxiety from this quick video here. So the first article I just wanted to highlight for you guys is looking at the effects of slow breathing on subjects pain levels and of course no surprise uh, slow versus normal breathing actually had a decreased response in the subjects pain um, the second article again no surprise here looking at the effects of slowed paced breathing on anxiety all the subjects in this group reported a uh, great reduction in their tension and anxiety when performing a slowed paced breathing compared to just their normal breathing cadence. Now, breathing, uh, arguably something we don't really pay attention to a lot of times, but if you're at home and, and you're struggling to manage that pain with your exercise routines, or you just got done watching the news and you don't know which way is up, slowed paced breathing is a great way just to center yourself calm your fears and your anxiety and then really get a handle on that pain i mean you don't have to do any complicated meditative procedures um we can keep this really simple and really easy by all means if you practice yoga or or, or any kind of meditation or prayer continue to do that those things have been studied really really solidly in the literature and have a great benefit to our health and our well-being like we talked about earlier but for most of us, uh, I like to keep things very simple. And the first thing I prescribe in the clinic to a lot of my patients is this idea of box breathing. And really with box breathing, I like to start with a four second cadence. So you're going to inhale for four seconds. You're going to hold that breath for four seconds, exhale for four seconds, and then hold for four seconds. So you can kind of get the idea of what a box looks like. So find a number that works well for you. Most of my clientele that don't have any respiratory issues do fine with four seconds, but I often try to take this box and turn it into a rectangle at some point where we work on the inhalation and the exhalation as a little bit longer. Um, exhaling for a longer period actually has been shown to um, reduce that stress. It, it can lower our heart rate. It can actually lower our blood pressure. Um, so I like to work with a lot of my clients on holding that exhalation for a little bit longer, but keep things simple for the, the purpose of this video. Try four second box breathings. The other really valuable tool uh, in today's day and age is our, 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 our cellular devices. So the iPhone has some really cool tech apps. Calm is one that I have loaded up here that's free on, on the uh, iPhone iOS. And you can, you can customize this to your needs, um, whether you're looking on doing it throughout the day for stress management, if you want it to help you fall asleep. Uh, again, the Calm, C-A-L-M, as you'd expect, um, is a great free app that you can download and gives you a lot of just great cues, great, great nature sounds. Um, it's really visually pleasing to look at. Um, and again, these are just two really simple ways to work on your pain and your anxiety while sheltered at home. Uh, feel free to give us a call at the clinic, 610-544-8500, if you just want someone to talk to. Um, we will be here doing some telehealth uh, Monday through Friday to really answer any questions. But hopefully these two things can help you guys stay centered, stay calm, and um, get out there and flourish. All right. Thank you.